In this video, we're going to take a look at the 6 liter EGR cooler. Let's take a look at the problem and the bulletproof solution. In the previous segment, we discussed the 6 liter engine oil cooler, what it can affect when it fails, and the bulletproof diesel solution. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the EGR cooler in the 6 liter, which is one of the primary components that can be destroyed by a malfunctioning oil cooler. Under normal operating conditions, an EGR cooler brings down exhaust temperatures before it is reintroduced into the engine's combustion chamber. If there is a shortage of coolant to the EGR cooler, heat expansion within the component can push the end plates apart, causing a rupture. When a rupture occurs, coolant can get into the exhaust being routed back to the engine. The visible result is white steam at the tailpipe. More serious problems such as head gasket or even cylinder head damage can follow. Some folks believe an EGR delete kit is the answer. It's worth noting that deleting an EGR system renders a vehicle illegal to drive on public roads. The bulletproof EGR cooler for 6 liter engines has been constructed to resist the kind of damage that results from heat expansion. The stock EGR cooler relies on radiator-like fins for the heat exchanging element. The bulletproof diesel EGR cooler utilizes round tubes with larger passageways and extremely durable TIG welded joints. With the bulletproof rupture resistant EGR cooler installed, white smoke from the tailpipe should no longer be an issue. Additionally, the other consequences of a failed EGR cooler can be avoided. We use OE procedures during teardown and take special care when cleaning the high pressure oil pump reservoir as debris left here can create big problems. Here's the upgraded bulletproof EGR cooler already secured to the intake manifold. At this point, Dell mounts it to the 6 liter engine. Perfect. Just get them in and tighten them to factory spec once you get them down. You gotta hook the silicone hose up to our transfer block. This clamp is sort of important as to where it ends up so it doesn't interfere with the turbo pedestal. So we roll it. Make sure you roll the clamp around so it doesn't hit the pedestal. Next thing up will be the EGR valve. All new seals. We try to seat them, don't use the bolts to suck them in because it'll just pull the ears down on the valve and give you a leak. Plug it in, that's good. As we reassembled the engine, we installed bulletproof diesel products to correct the 6 liters other pattern failures. We'll see more of those in other segments of this video series. Before the job is considered done, we test drive the truck for several hundred miles, monitoring a number of data points. When reliability is the goal, careful testing is a must. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series as we correct the pattern failures found within the 6 liter power stroke engine.